Hey guys, I'm Santiago Tobón. I'm a professor of economics at Universidad Afit in Medellín, Colombia. Uh, my first experience with EGAP was back in 2016 when I participated in the Learning Days at Santiago de Chile, which was an amazing experience. I'm now happy to tell you that I'm a member of the network. I'm a heavy user of the network's resources, for instance, receiving and providing feedback, teaching field experiments with some of the network's tools, and leveraging on some of the network's uh, uh, knowledge to implement field experiments in, in very complex settings. I've also worked closely with other EGAC members, such as uh, who are now my co-authors, Chris Gladman and Don Green, in implementing field experiments. Now uh, our work has recently turned, and thankfully, into published papers. Uh, I'm glad the agenda of the learning days turned into a textbook now. I was a PhD student back then, and I'm sure this will be a very useful resource for researchers around the world. So thank you for this effort and, and congratulations. So my name is Mary Karumba from Nairobi, Kenya, and I'm one of the participants of the experimental design workshop that was held in Malawi in February 2017. So it was a very exciting um, opportunity to learn how experimental designs work and the work that goes you know, behind having a good design prior to evaluation. So despite the fact that I haven't formally engaged myself in a full research you know, that, um, that, that had an experimental design in it, I have participated in the review of design submitted by consultants working for the government, and I'm happy to say that I felt comfortable in the review because I could understand what is going on, and I was also you know, in a better position you know, to advise on whether to uh, approve or not approve you know, the design that was submitted. Thank you very much for that opportunity to EGAP, and I look forward you know, to working with the teams in the future. My name is Abiola Oyubanjo. I'm a doctoral researcher at the Berlin Graduate School for Global and Trans-Regional Studies. My experience with EGAP was in 2018 at the New York University in Abu Dhabi. Um, that was my first time of learning about the experimental methods and, and causal inference, and it served as a springboard to, to do many of the things in, in console in France and, and, and I also secured a PhD position in Berlin based on the knowledge that I learned at EGA. Uh, I found that very, very fascinating. Hello, my name is Juan Carlos Rodriguez Raga. I am Associate Professor of Political Science and the Co-Director of Observatorio de la Democracia at Universidad de los Andes in Bogotá, Colombia. I attended the EGAP Learning Days in February and March of 2018 in Montevideo, Uruguay. And that was great because I, it was possible for me to get in contact with people who do amazing stuff. And that triggered my interest in experimental techniques in trying to provide um, policy recommendations based on evidence. We actually have now a project with EGAP regarding misinformation on social media and um, vaccines against COVID-19. Thank you. My name is Esther Wele, a labs manager at the Sara Center for Behavioral Economics. I participated in EGAP planning workshop in Benin in 2019. I also participated in EGAP refresher training last year. This has had a huge impact in my career, particularly being able to apply learnings I received on experimental methods in research projects that have been involved in. I also received the EGAP COVID-19 grant, which I received a lot of feedback and support from the EGAP team. Hi, this is Lorena Moreno from Quito, Ecuador. I attended the EGAP Learning Days in Bogota and the online refresher. Both helped me reinforce my knowledge in experimental evaluation, have access to all types of useful resources, learn practical coding, share enriching discussions, and understand and apply the process to follow through with RCTs. In fact, I remember once my colleagues and I were developing a proposal to fund the evaluation of the implementation of virtual reality laboratories, and I still had some doubts on the design. We were a week apart from the deadline. On the Monday of that week, we also had our session with Martin Bors, who helped sort my doubts regarding how power was affected by clustering and blocking, and also the trade-off between sample and minimum detectable effect. I was able to develop a syntax with several design options, which was extremely helpful for the project. We have passed the first revision and we have high hopes for it. Hi, my name is Lucia Tesconia. I'm assistant professor in the Division of International Studies at CIDE in Mexico City. I attended Learning Days in 2019 in Bogota, Colombia. 
the workshop was a huge help in getting a survey ready to implement. I was able to further refine it through multiple interactions with instructors, even after the workshop, as well as peer feedback through EGAP's peer response tool. The design eventually became part of a grant proposal that received funding from the Uruguayan government. Congratulations on the book launch. It is a wonderful tool and I am sure I will be using it very soon.